Good afternoon, MCT Hotel. Melvin speaking. May I help you? Yes, I'd like to reserve a single room, please. Certainly, sir. How much is it, please? Single room occupancy ranges from 1,500 pesos to 3,500 pesos. Oh, good. I'll take it. Okay, sir. May I have your name, please? Charles Borton. Could you spell your name, please? C-H-A-R-L-E-S. New word, B-U-R-T-O-N. Thank you, Mr. Borton. When will you be arriving? 23rd of June. For how many nights, Mr. Borton? Until 27 of June. It's fine. And do you have any special request? Could I have an ocean view room? Certainly, Mr. Borton. So that a single room with an ocean view for four nights from the 23rd until the 27th of June. Is that correct? Yes, exactly. Thank you. You're welcome. We we'll look forward to your visit in our hotel. Thank you for calling us. Good afternoon, sir. May I help you? Yes, I'd like to check in. Do you have any reservation? Yes, I have a booking for four nights. May I know your name, please? Yes, my name is Burton. Charles Burton. I'm sorry, could you spell that, please, sir? B U R T O N. Okay, B U R T O N. Yes, that's right. Could you wait a moment, please? I'll check it first. Oh yes, Mr. Borton, that was a single room with an ocean view for four nights, wasn't it? Yes, that's right. Would you like to register, please? Can I borrow a pen, please? Sir, here you are. Sir, may I borrow your passport for a moment, please? Of course, here you are. Thank you, Mr. Borton. Our bell, our bellboy will escort you to your room. And here's your keycard, sir. Have a pleasant day. Stay with us, Mr. Borton. Thank you. Good morning, MCT Hotel, Melvin speaking, could I help you? Good morning, could you put me through Mr. Borton please? Okay, may I know who am I speaking with? I am Robert, Robert Smith. Okay Mr. Smith, do you know what room number is he in, sir? I think room number 123. Hold the line please, I'll try to connect you. Thank you very much. Sorry to keep you waiting, sir. Unfortunately, there's no answer from him. I'm afraid that he is not in his room at the moment. Would you like to leave a message? Yes. Could you tell him that I am now still at the airport? Okay. I am afraid that I will be about 20 minutes late. Certainly. I'll pass on your message to Mr. Borton as soon as possible. May I repeat for you? Yes, please. You leave a message to Mr. Borton in room number 123. The message is, you are still at the airport and you will be about 20 minutes late. Is that correct? Yes, exactly. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for calling us.
Good morning. I'm leaving this afternoon. Could you prepare my bill, please? Good morning, sir. Certainly. We'll have it ready for a few minutes. Sir, may I know your room number, please? I am in room number 123. Right, sir. Thank you. Can you tell me how much it is now? Certainly, I'll get your account right away. And here it is, sir. This is the amount up to this time. I hope there will be no more items to add until this afternoon. What's the day today? It is 27th of June. You have been here for 4 days, sir. Okay. I ordered a lot of me meals. I think this is the highest bill I have ever got. Will you pay with traveler check, cash, or credit card? Uh, I think I have to use my credit card as I have spent my all traveler checks. Do you take Annex or Visa? I take any credit card, sir. Okay, here you are. Wait a moment, please. Sir, here is your credit card. I hope you enjoy stay with us. Absolutely. This is the most wonderful visit I ever had. I can see that all the staff here are very friendly. Thank you for staying with us, sir. We're looking forward for your next visit. Have a great day. Good morning, Mr. Melvin. Good morning, sir. Please be seated. So, you are here to listen because I will discuss your evaluation form on how I read it. So, here is your copy just to see. And okay, you sir. can study it. So, as you can see, we have there the employee information, which is you, your name, and your information. So, to start, I will discuss the goals and objectives of this evaluation form. So, first, strengthen two-way communication regarding job performance, periodically assess goals and opportunities for the unit and the individual. Next, establish a mutually understood set of performance expectations. Recognize contributions of employees. To discuss opportunities for growth and development. To provide necessary feedback with performance does not meet expectations as situations warrants in addition to annual evaluation process. Then lastly, align employee performance with the mission and goals of the university and unit. So, and also you can read the process which is in the paper. So next, we have here the rating scale which is the outstanding so you can read what, we, what is the meaning of that then exceeds expectations meets expectation approaches expectations does not meet expectations and lastly not applicable so here are some core competency which as which is I will narrate you and give your evaluation. So first you have the job knowledge. Job knowledge 
is understand how position supports the institution strategic plan. Then demonstrate knowledge and skills necessary to perform the job effectively and applies to critical work issues in a timely manner. Demonstrate willingness to learn new skills, methods, processes to enhance job performance. Then lastly, performs the full range of duties and responsibilities associated with the job. So here I will give some narrative assessment from your competencies and and also I will follow it by the rating. So next, your interpersonal skills, cooperation, and collaboration, which is you need to demonstrate effective positive customer, student, or service. Develops and maintains professional working relationship with internal or external constituencies. Then lastly, encourage collaboration, sharing of information. So next, we have your communication skills. I will rate it based on how you write and communication clearly, accurately. Then listen well, is responsive to, inquiry, to inquiries, directions, and suggestions. Then use as appropriate communication based on the needs a hand. Then for the fourth, we have planning, organizing, and achieving results. So here you need to develop goals, plans, and priorities to achieve objectives, evaluate goals and accomplishment, meet deadlines in a timely and efficient manner, finds and uses resources well. Then for the fifth, we have the problem analysis and decision making. So gathers and analyzes appropriate information before making decisions, seeks information and input from other stakeholders as appropriate. Then, develops and implements effective solutions. Then, for the six, we have commitment to diversity or inclusion. To do that, you need to demonstrate due concern for others. Then, participates in programs, processes, that promotes diversity, equal opportunity. Then seven, we have the leadership. In here, you need to demonstrate commitment and provide leadership through personal example and professional expertise. Then demonstrate the ability to motivate co-workers and then displays an openness to new ideas and supports an environment to continuous improvement so that's all and here I will give the overall rating and overall evaluation which is you can see to your paper that I've given to you and follow it by the my narrative assessment to you and comment on employees strengths comment on areas for growth change then Wait, wait, wait. For the goals, comments, prior year goal. Then next is the goals for upcoming year. So for the last part, you have here the signatures, then the date. Your signature, my signature, and the second level, supervisor signature. To for this evaluation. And that's all, Mr. Melvin. Thank you.